Okay, so here is a review for Coke Leather. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Coke Leather. I had him do uh, two custom leather pieces for me uh, last month, and uh, after uh, using them for some time, um, I'd like to uh, give you my thoughts. So first up is the pen pouch for my wife. I am uh, not using it, sirs. Um, and it's burgundy with a brass button and bright purple thread and uh, it's lovely oh and of course uh, it has yeah but he it has a monogram here for Cindy see for Cindy all right so open it up then she keeps obviously pens because it's a pen case um, and it's got plenty of room I gave him the dimensions um, I found a similar pouch uh, randomly online and I sent him that image and then he he uh, pretty much duplicated that for me so it's beautiful it's elegant and I love this color combination uh, actually it was my idea to have the burgundy purple uh, my wife just uh, stole my my color combination that's okay though alright so very simple and my wife loves loves it and the smell is great and it's high quality it's gonna last a long time alright so next is uh, my item um, it's a business card wallet um, and uh, yeah, uh, here in Japan, I found a nice uh, leather maker, uh, the design of a nice business card wallet, and I hadn't seen that anywhere else, and uh, I sent some images to um, Joshua, and uh, he pretty much uh, duplicated that, and he did a really good job. Um, I told him to make it nearly exact. I didn't say make it 100% exact, but when I said nearly, um, he was able to use some of his, some of his uh, creativity, and I'll show you what I mean. But first, um, again, this my wallet is uh, burgundy with bright purple thread, and it's a beautiful combination. I love it. I wish I had found this combination uh, uh, previously. And notice here how on the bottom. It's just one uh, single piece of leather on this part that folds up and over. Okay, and here's the inside. Alright, so it has four inner pockets. Um, this is one. This is two. three and four now, this isn't really a pocket it's just a slit but it works just as well um, and the feature that I, I really liked about uh, the Japanese business card wallet was this part here uh, this is pretty common but this style here is just very very unique so on the Japanese uh, business card wallet, there were uh, three pieces of leather, I believe. It was the back main part, one, and then two that came all the way down. And there was a third piece of leather that came across here horizontally. And that was just a straight horizontal piece of leather. All right, so there are three pieces of leather on the on the images that I sent to him and I was expecting uh, three pieces uh, of leather on this side um, actually on each side it, so it would have I was expecting the main piece so one two three on this side three pieces here and then on this side I was expecting one two and then three however when I opened it up uh, there were only two pieces but that's okay because it makes this uh, business wallet uh, thinner. Had there been three pieces, it would just be a much thicker. 
and that's perfectly fine with me. It works for me, no problem. Um, I, for I had forgotten how thick uh, this Horween leather is. Uh, I forgot the name, Cro-Mexel. Cro Cro uh, anyway, um, I had forgotten how thick and high quality and durable it, it really is. So I'm glad that he that he didn't, um, you know, make this part with three pieces of leather. And what I really like is that, so for the slit here, it's not just a straight horizontal slit, which he could have done. And in fact, on the original business card wallet, that third piece was just a straight piece of leather that came over here. What Joshua did, or what, what Team Coke did, was he kind of put it at an angle, which isn't really much, but that's just, that really gives it a touch, and it's really, really cool. I love that, and so, yeah, so here are the business cards. Uh, this is his, for example. I haven't got my business cards yet. I'm dying to get them in so I can start putting this to use, but here's his, for example. So, in Japan, um, having, you know, uh, the business cards is a big, big deal. So at meetings, um, it's kind of you know there's uh, there's uh, 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 there are steps that you have to go through when you give a, a business card uh, to somebody in in Japan. So I wanted easy access to the cards, so I can quickly pull them out easily. That's why I had um, him uh, copy, uh, you know, the the images I had sent him. So it, it, so, the example, let's see, okay, so this is not me, but imagine this were me, all right, so this Japanese style business card, uh, business card holder allows me to quickly pull out my business card, and then in Japan, you have to give it with both hands to the business partner, customer, etc., and you have to make sure that the letters or the Japanese characters face towards the person. And then they will accept the card with both hands. And then they will not put it in their back pocket. You can't do that. That would be like spitting in somebody's face. Um, you have to accept somebody's business card with both hands. So I would accept it like, like this from somebody. And then I would just place it right beside my business card wallet, just like this, keep it on the table during negotiations. And then once we're done, I would open my wallet and then just uh, slip it uh, somewhere, so slip, it, slip it in. It's still a bit tight. I haven't, like I said, I haven't got my business cards yet. Um, Okay, here, yeah, I, 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 wanted, I wanted it to be cut a little bit downwards and then back up so I could access the cards a little bit easier. Um, I'm not sure if I communicated that um, clearly to Joshua, so I apologize for that. But, um, you know, it just shows that, you know, you got to be uh, careful when you communicate um, with, uh, with, with uh, a leather craftsman. Because, especially with uh, custom products, but um, yeah, so that's how it works, all right? So yeah, I'm happy because uh, this allows me to do business um, effectively and uh, if, efficiently in Japan. So I can just quickly uh, pull out and then add, of course, add, add the business cards right there. So I love it, it's great. And of course, um, yeah, these 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 marbles of fat, or I guess they're probably stretch marks. They're lovely. I feel like Joshua maybe, you know, hand picked them and kind of put them here uh, in kind of you know the the main, the front, the visible parts of the wallet. So here it's just gorgeous. I love that. It's it's really great. On the back, on the back. Yes, all the way to the back, all right? So, uh, yeah, here it is. Here's the one main piece that goes all the way down, and then it folds down, 
and then it goes back up here and this is all one long leather piece so it's great he's uh, you know the, the less piece leather pieces um, the better and more durable it is so elegant beautiful stylish and um, it's perfect uh, so definitely um, check out coke leather